All right, welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you how to sell a call, AKA do a covered call in interactive brokers. Okay, so we're back in the demo account and we have around 73,000 in the USD and we're trying to buy shares to be able to sell call options on those shares. What we do first is we need to buy those shares because to sell a call option, you need 100 shares. So we go in here, we just click the arrow button. You could search your stocks or ETFs or you could just click the one that you recently viewed. So I'll click the TQQQ again and we need to buy the 100 shares first. So we just click on buy, Let's change the order type to market so it executes fast and we just slide to buy. So shares are in hundreds, so we need to buy at least 100 shares to be able to sell one options contract on that. So slide to buy, the order has been filled. And let's go into the portfolio to check this out. So we can see that we have 100 shares under position for TQQQ and the price is changing. So let's go back. So we go back to TQQQ, click on options, look at the expiry date. So August 23rd, these are the strike prices that are available. Let's say we wanted to sell at a certain strike price. Um, let's say maybe, uh, which one should I pick here? Okay, let's go with 74.5. So what we're saying is that it doesn't get to 74.5 by the end of expiration, which is August 23rd. So we click on sell because we're selling the call and you see it's in red. It's very important to click on sell because we're selling options. Now we click quantity one. One quantity is equivalent to 100 shares. So quantity one, the order type, it depends on what you want, but we could click market. So we check everything. And what it's saying here is that it's gonna give us 33 cents in premium for every share we have. And because we have 100 shares, it means that's 0.33 times 100, that's $33. So we're gonna get $33 in premium. So all we have to do now is once you've checked everything to make sure that it's good, you just slide to sell. And once you slide to sell, that premium of $33 minus the fees is gonna come into your, uh, it's gonna come into your account on interactive brokers as extra cash. So right now the order is pending because it hasn't been filled. I'm not sure if a demo account is gonna get filled or not, but let's see. Um, so we go in here, check the orders. See, it's still zero filled. Uh, oh, it went, okay. So it got filled and we got $32. So you can see that it's been added to the net liquidation value that we have. Um, I can't remember what we had before this, but it definitely adds it to it. So if you wanted to let this expire, it's going to eventually turn to zero and that's it. Or you can come in here to close it. So you can go back in, but now you have to buy lower to make a profit. So we set the limit price to 0 0.01 because we want to buy it back at $1 since we sold it at $32. And we just click 0 0.01. Then we just check everything and slide to buy. Now, once you slide to buy, it'll show you the order has been submitted because it doesn't get filled until that contract is at 0 0.01. So when we bought it, it was at 32, we needed to get to $1, like get low to $1. And it's not gonna get there until it's about to expire. But let me just show you how to close it. So let's say we wanted to close it. We just go to modify. We go back in, we sell, change the order type to market and we slide to buy. So we bought it back at 35, which is a loss because you bought something at 35 and you sold it at 32. So, but this is just for demonstration purposes. That's how you close out a position. If you don't want to let it expire, just like let the time run and let it turn to zero on its own by the end of the week or the end of your expiration period. Now let's go back in. We can see that there is no longer any options contract available. We're left with our shares and we still have a hundred shares. This is how you do a covered call with interactive brokers. Most times I like to just let it expire 
and then I do another trade the next week or whenever it expires, I just do another trade from there. So now you know how to do an auction straight for a covered call. Till next time, I will see you in my next video.